OBD2 scanners are a great tool for everyone who owns a car to have. Even if you don't do service work on your car, you can gain valuable information about your car before you take it into a mechanic, just to make sure you're not getting ripped off by the services they're trying to offer you. There are so many to choose from with varying features and price ranges, so which one do you choose? In this video, I'm gonna do a comparison between a basic scanner and an advanced scanner to help you choose what would be best for you. The two we're gonna look at today are the Launch CR3001 on the left, and on the right, we have the Launch CR3008. First thing we'll look at is appearance and quality. We'll start with the 3001. The plastics on this do look and feel a little cheap, but the buttons are actually really nice. The screen looks really good. The cables, all the connections here look very durable. So other than the cheaper looking plastics, you're not really sacrificing much on appearance or quality of this thing. My first impressions on the 3008 are that it's big. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. The case is noticeably higher quality than the 3001 and the removable data cable is also a nice feature. Um, it's 3.5 feet in length, whereas the 3001 is only 2.5. And the cable tip is also yellow, so it's gonna make locating in that OBD2 port a lot easier. So next thing we'll look at is the weight and the size. This guy comes in at seven ounces. It's 4.65 inches tall, 2.68 inches wide, and the thickness on it, you're looking at 0.88 inches. It has a 1.77 inch TFT display, which is 160 by 128 pixels. It's really nice and compact, fits in your hand really well. One thing I really like about this is the size. So now the 3008 with the cable attached, you're looking at 12 ounces. Like I say, this thing is very big. Without taking the cable into consideration, you're looking at eight and a half inches tall, 4.25 inches wide, and an inch and a half thick. It does have a 2.8 inch color TFT display, which is a 320 by 240 resolution. I would say this scanner is a little bit larger than it needs to be, but it does fit in your hand very comfortably. One-handed use wouldn't be a problem, whether you're right-handed or left-handed. Next thing I want to look at is ease of use. That's obviously a very important thing these days. Some older scanners used to be very complicated in using them. Nowadays, these things are both very easy to use. One thing I like about this one is just very simple. Um, you can navigate through it very quickly. Once you get the hang of how the menu system works, this one's very easy to use with just the four keys. With the additional keys on the 3008, I find this one just slightly easier to use and maybe not easier, but quicker. We have these quick access keys, which we'll talk about in a sec. We've also got uh, left, right, in addition to the up and down, our okay and our back are still there as well. The layout makes it very simple to navigate through and easy to use. The larger display screen with its better resolution, the additional keys just really make the user experience that much greater on the 3008 over the 3001. So you get the sense the 3008 or advanced scanner is easier to use. With both of these code readers being software driven, updates are very important. When manufacturers come out with changes to their codes or possibly just new data entered into the OBD2 system, updating what you have is very important. Unfortunately, with the 3001, what you get is what you get, so there's no updates available for that. But with the 3008, we have a micro USB cable, which will allow us to connect to the computer in order to download updates from their software. So far, we haven't even looked at the most important feature on an OBD2 scanner is the function of it. The 3001 will give you all the basic functions like reading codes, deleting codes, viewing live data, viewing freeze frame data, IM readiness, O2 sensor testing, onboard monitoring, and EVAP system testing. So that's all the basics for the average person. That's all you'll need. Now the 3008, what you get in addition to the 3001 is you get these three hotkeys up here, which will allow you quick access to those three functions. You also get a much better processor and much nicer user interface on the 3008. You also have the ability to connect to your computer to print the data out that you've recorded on the vehicle. Those are all features not available on the basic 3001 scanner. So now the price, which one has the better advantage there, the basic or the advanced scanner? Well, to me, that's all dependent on how you use it. The 3001 is gonna be in and around $30 with a three year warranty on it. The 3008 comes in at about double at $60 and it also has a three year warranty on it. Once you make your decision after watching this video of which scanner is best for you, take a look at the links in the description description for more information on both of these products. So now after all that comparison information, what's the bottom line on these two scanners? If you're an occasional user who may want to see why their check engine light came on or see if your car will pass an emissions test, the CR3001 is all you need. The size of it is also great to keep in your glove box of your car or in a toolkit you keep in your trunk. If you are frequently doing repairs on your cars or friends' cars, you may want to look at the 3008. 
The larger display and additional features make using the 3008 that much easier. It's double the cost of the 3001, but if it's going to be used that much more, I'd recommend spending the extra money on the 3008. Hopefully this comparison video of a basic and advanced scanner helps you out a little bit in your decision to purchase one. If you want some more in-depth information on either of these scanners, take a look at these videos here. And be sure to subscribe to the channel because I've got lots of great content on OBD2 scanners coming soon.